nagsisimula ang lahat sa edukasyon. Ito ay para palakasin ang isip at kakayahan ng bawat Pilipino. Ang ating butihing Vice Presidente, nakalihim din ng kagawaran ng edukasyon, ay tumutulong upang tiyakin na ang bawat batang Pilipino ay mabibigyan ng nararapat at kalidad na edukasyon. We have renewed hope in giving the best to our next batches of students, especially the 28.4 million learners who return to school this year. Learning recovery will be at the forefront of our education agenda. The Matatag Agenda for Basic Education has been launched, focusing on relevance of curriculum, rapid and, re rapid and re responsive delivery, and the welfare of both learners and teachers. We are augmenting as well our school workforce. 90% of the newly created teaching positions have now been filled, while additional administrative personnel have been hired to unburden the teachers of any extra load. Taking to heart the lessons of the pandemic, alternative delivery modes and blended learning methodologies have been adopted to ensure unhampered learning. Additional social safety nets, such as school-based feeding programs, are also being implemented. Learners will be made more resilient. Our public schools and facilities are being increased and fortified. The shortage of classrooms and facilities is being addressed. Aside from new construction, schools and facilities are being retrofitted to become ready for the future, ready for hybrid and high-tech learning, and also climate-ready and disaster-proof. Through the DepEd Partnership Assistance Portal, private sector partners continue their assistance in the rehabilitation and improvement of schools as part of their corporate social responsibility programs. We are recalibrating the K-10 curriculum to ensure that it is always relevant, responsive, and at par with international standards. Literacy and numeracy skills need to be strengthened. The virtue of good citizenship and sense of community are also now integrated into our curriculum. We continue to exhaust all efforts to keep our young people away from the sinister influences in the dark corners of society. We are making available to them their participation in formal schooling, alternative learning, non-diploma courses, or in Technical Vocational Education and Training, or TVET. TVET continues to prove itself to be an empowering educational intervention. There are many examples of how its graduates have gone on to secure competitive technical jobs. Since last year, more than a million Filipinos graduated from the TVET, one-third of whom were TESDA scholars. More and more of our higher education institutions more and more of our higher education institutions have reached world-class status. This year, 52 Philippine HEIs have been included in the world universities rankings compared to just 15 last year. We will not let a student's financial constraints be an hindrance to his, education, his or her education. We have activated social safety nets, such as skills development training and youth employment programs. Tertiary education in state universities and colleges will remain free for our qualified students. <laughs> Last year, out of the 4.1 million enrolled college students, almost 50% were beneficiaries of the country's free higher education under the Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education Program. Deserving and talented, talented students without the financial capacity to attend school will not be left behind in this education agenda.